This is your first if statement. In, in JavaScript, as any other language, you can have conditions. So a condition is when you ask the computer something about a variable, because sometimes you don't know what the variable is going to have inside. Like right now, for example, we don't know what the user is going to input in this prompt. A prompt is when you click, when you say prompt, you're basically saying, asking to the user to give you an input. Like I could say here, hello, and that's my input. So every time you prompt, whatever the user answers is going to be put in total. So if I print total, if I print it and I say here, do, 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 then I would get do, 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 or we, we, yo, 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 Well, the thing is that I get whatever the user typed. So with that in mind, I don't know what's going to be total. I don't even know what data type is going to have. I, I know it's going to have a string because prompt returns a string, but sometimes you don't even know that. So what the computer or what we're being asked here is to have this logic we're using conditional. So a condition, it's good because it will let you have your code smart. Well, it's not really smart, but it's some kind of, some kind of intelligence. So total, if total is more than 100, for example, we could say console.log, and we put here, let me type this exactly as it is. Give me your money. So we're saying now that we only want to execute the line number four if total is more than 100. So that's super cool because we are now able, if I put 50, it's not going to execute. You see, nothing in the console because it's less than 100. But if I put more than 100, like 101, it will execute the give me your money console.log in the line number four. So basically this line is being jumped and I can add as many lines as, as I like. I can put another console log here. Like whatever I do between the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket, it's always gonna get skipped if this condition doesn't return true or false. So with that in mind, I have to say, give me your money when it's more than 100. If the user has more, more than 50, so so then else if it's total, it's more than 50, then I have to say something else. Let me see what I have to say. Buy me, buy me some coffee, you cheapster. Okay. And then if the user has less or equal than 50, you are a poor guy, go away. So let's try this. So it's another else if. It's like English. So if total it's less than 50, then this one, right? So let me wrap it in the in the proper quotes and function and let's test it. Let's say that I put uh, 60. It should be when I put 60, it should be it's not more than 50 and it's not less than no it is more than 50 so it should be buy me some coffee let's see ah i tested it i didn't run it so let's let's run it so for 50 we were saying buy me some coffee that's good let's see what the test is saying let me put 60 again i don't think the 60 is gonna be in the in the test because it's gonna test for several values probably so ah call at least Call console log once with the proper message. So console log is not being called according to this 